Ukrainian circus performers who've escaped their war-torn country will be touring the region this summer. 16 of them came to the UK under the Homes for Ukrainians scheme after spending three months hiding from Russian forces. Emma Bohr has been to meet them. My name is Tanya and I'm 23 years old and I'm Ukrainian. Um, in circus I'm a dancer. I really adore it. I, I just I think that that's why I came to this world. But that world was turned upside down when war broke out. Tania was caught in Kharkov, seeking shelter from the bombs. Every day was worse and worse, and every night was worse and worse, and every day I, I was more exhausted. You're scared so much, and you, you don't know what to do. And uh, I didn't eat first day, I didn't sleep, and I was scared to sleep at night because uh, I was afraid that um, I would not hear any sirens or explosions and I will just not wake up next morning. Victor was given special leave as an artist to flee Ukraine with his wife and son. It's very dangerous, very dangerous all the time. It's common rockets, everything. And when we left, uh, uh, we, I am not remember how many days, we just one places after the other places and I'm very happy we come and with all my family to Circus Cortex also Circus Cortex is like uh, second my family also we save here my child going to school my wife uh, work with me we, we're all together here and I'm very happy of course when I say, uh, see if public like this I'm also in my heart I'm uh, like it I, I want to uh, give it more. The circus's co-founder says it's giving a lifeline. I think it's very important to keep it as normal as possible for all of them and um, this is what they train to do, What that's what they love doing and uh, the more they not thinking about the bad things it's, it's better for their mental health. This positive emotions they're getting on stage is helping him through difficult times. It's to show that how strong we are, that uh, the, the, the disaster happened in our country and we still can go on stage, we can smile, even if it's difficult. We can smile and we can uh, make people happier and we can show how talented, how hardworking and uh, how strong we are. Emma Bohr, BBC Le Keast. Now it's time to meet the first...